Oh, would you look at the time? It's been four years already? Oh, what a guest! Welcome, everybody, to the Mega Man and Pace playthrough! Oh, God, oh, God it's the GBA version. For a very, very, very long time. Oh. Why the GBA version, man? Because 2013 year old, or 30, yeah, 2013, I thought it was a good idea. Uh, that sound. Mm-hmm. This is a Mega Man 2 GB. True. Oh, I just thought of something. Both, what? With, with both, like, there's two, with, there's two LP that I've took, or comedy that I've took in took, but took me years to be, to be finished. This, and Kirby Amazing Mirror. The fuck's going on with this year? Yeah, but my, remember. If you remember all the way back in my Kirby's, uh, in the Kirby Dream Line commentary, I mentioned that, you know, during those, part three took a while to actually perform a final got bandy cam. This was the game that was finished entirely. This was my first ever completed game for Eternal Flink Arms. We have, we have done it in two about which is, what the, on our, on our fourth year. 2018. And um, then you redid it, and you redid it again. <laughs> this, yeah, this is the third attempt. Uh, that's Green Crunch. Yeah, that's the main yeah. issue. Is this this game was originally on the SNES as Rockman Forte, and then they said, "Hey, you know what? With this, let's make a game out of it." The Game Boy Advance. Let's put it on there as a remake yeah. for the anniversary. Remaking quotation marks. Yeah, yeah. sure. Was it for the anniversary or was it for the? It was for the anniversary. But would you no, stand there? I believe it was for the 15th anniversary for Mega Man. That was mm. 2000 and what now? What other game had a terrible 15th anniversary? Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm not the only one seeing the parallels here. What, what year did this game, game come out again? What was the 15th anniversary again? When was that? What year was that? Uh, originally in 98, the GBA version in 2002. Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. Four years of 406. Hmm. Anyways, you can see we're playing as base because after Mega Man 7 and something happens to huh, Mega Man. It's 8, a. We decided to join this because. Protobon! Ryan! We have a new villain! Look at this guy! Look at that axe! Why isn't it well? No, no, I'm just angry looking at him because I know what's happening in the future. <laughs> You can't be Stop mumbling into your microphone, boy. I'm trying not to mumble. Oh man, Proto Man, you got this. You can do this just fine. Take him down. Hadouken. Oh! I just been zeroed. Wow, well, Proto Man, you're just you're only half the man you used to be. <laughs> hey. And I love if you comment about Mega Man, he actually comments on this. Basically, like, what the hell's this guy? He says he's the strongest. Hell no, I am. <coughs> Get back here! Oh god! Oh no! Are you already, 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 already in the what? The Wally Castle already? Fucking hell! They put oh, one. Huh? It does make the the boss the intro stage a devil, aka the Green Devil from Mega Man Eight. Who's even weaker in this compared to Mega Man 8? Yeah, because you just found the fuck of the button up. Actually, funny thing is, if you actually come back to the stage and you battle it with uh, all the weapons you have, if you use the the pirate bo the remote bomb, which is like the flash bomb in Mega Man 8, it blows him up in one shot. Really? Like, com completely disintegrates it. <laughs> wow. Wow. Cold Man! Yes, and unlike other Mega Man games where you get to choose which romances you get to, you're only limited to three. And starting off, if this is your first time, just go after Cold Man. Or just not play this game at all, take your pick. Well, that's another option, but I didn't take but, it. But if, but if, but if, but if you want to play the Mega Man games, though, between the bad ones, then play Mega Man 8. But you play it based on this game, uh, in 16 then bits. Then play Mega Man 10. In 16 bits. Yeah, just play Mega Man 10. In 16 bits specifically. <laughs> No, just play Mega Man 10, he's better in that game. No, he doesn't have his dash. Yeah. yeah Actually, but... he no, has... he has his dash? What are you talking he... about? He has his dash! Oh, he CD, yeah. Has... He doesn't have one of those things. 
It's either his dash or his double jump. <laughs> he doesn't have his double jump. Okay, uh, what program is that? Is he going to install to us, like, later? What? Uh, Rockman.exe. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. You asked for it. I know, Dave. Wait, Bix's character design is pretty cool. His gameplay style is obviously a lot better <laughs> compared to playing as Mega Man. He's basically game. the. He's, ooh, oh, he yeah. has a dash, he got his double jump, he got his buster that aims in multiple directions, it just can't shoot through walls. He's he's basically, you know, the evil and Mega Man. has hit a full amount of damage. He's basically, you know, he's, he's basically the shadow, basically, yeah. He's the and people wonder, and people wonder why there there was crossover material between Sega and Capcom. But instead, why, they, hasn't, why hasn't there been a fighting game yet, or an actual game based around that idea? The amount of fucking money they they would make is ridiculous. They got fucking fucking fuss the summon over here. Maybe they'd have a good crossover fighting game. <laughs> Maybe. Still crying over Marvel. Yes. You see, why does why does the Kairos just robot eject the uh, you know press the salmon here and just poof? This is some badass. This is some bad screen could have the most weird thing I've seen. Water in an ice stage. This is this is like a cold storage. Have you not base. played Sonic Three? Then this is this is basically a cold storage. Basically, I'm thinking that. Have you not played Sonic 3? Seriously? I have. I have. Then why aren't you questioning the lo uh, the water in that stage? I, 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 I first of all, the real way I said it, I'm thinking, why is the water hung in this space? It's basically called storage space. There, the water's melted, basically. It's also going to melt in underwater reserves. I don't know. You just have this uh, bad habit of questioning things yes. that really shouldn't be questioned. Yeah, I know. Though, to be fair, you really should ask questions of how the hell there's an ice cap on a tropical island. That floats in the sky. I can't like you with fucking, fucking uh, Alola. You already argue about Alola, you hate the place. I'm saying, Alola, met, um, Alola has an ice melt on it. Even, 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 really even, really really even if it's tropical. Hi, cold man. He's piss poor. Ryan? Nah, shit. No, I have to... Oh, crap. I had my mic here. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. idiot. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, man. It breaks this little ice wall. wall. Anyway, oh, man. He was at at you? Burp dinosaur DNA. That's why he's basically an ice box. A refrigerator, if you will. It it's I'll really freeze easy. you to your bones. He's really easy to uh, like make him move to places due to base's mobility. Because here's what you don't want him to do is be in the middle of the stage if you're playing as Mega Man. Because in the second half, he releases this ice cloud. If it touches you, you slow down and you get hit by his ice wall, which is his weapon. You know, I would love to see speedrun strats in this game. I think somebody's been in under 30 minutes or less. I'm sorry, how fast? What now? I have to say 30 minutes. I'm not sure what the actual time is. So Google! Away! But yeah, as you can see, these things are really annoying to deal with. Which is why, if you wanted to have the optimal place for a cold man, put him back where he started at the beginning of the fight. That way you have enough chance to fire at the cloud and cold man at the same time. Hmm. Like, I think about, I'm just going to Google. There's some, some uh, TSA. Oh, this is S. This is S. This is S. This is S. N. E. S. 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 Yeah, 28 minutes. 27 so the, minutes. The first run. The first run I found is of the S. N. E. S. Version that yeah. was done in under an hour. Well, not under an hour. Uh, 38 minutes. Yeah, 38 minutes as base. One <laughs> below as Mega Man was less. What the fuck? Well, Mega Man has the charge shot. Yes, but, but the mobility though. But base breaks the levels in half. What the fuck? Just yes. the... Mega Man has the charge shot. What? what base the... breaks the levels in half. First, first weapon. Anyway, Ice we a Basically, a projectile that we can cause, we can spawn and push around. And it does. This does um, a lot of damage to many multiple enemies. Yeah, the Ice Wall is basically the best weapon in the game. No lie. 
And uh, as for how Mega Man could get a faster time, he does get an upgrade that specifically uh, makes weapons less energy. Ah, uh, yes. You know, Ice energy. against Ice. propane. Well, honestly, one of my favorite design romances in this game, it's Burner Man. I mean, hey, nice design and all, but fuck him! Yes. No, fuck the stage. Now here's the thing, you may be wondering why he's a fire-type Raw Master in the jungle, because in actual lore, he believes, due to King's, uh, talking, he believes that he has a bomb in him, and if he doesn't burn out a forest today, <laughs> they'll go off and kill him. Wait a minute, hold on. Where does this sound familiar? Why isn't this one, this clever concept as well, Mega 11 brought a back a dinner. Torchman has an acting concept it is, of, of a wood stage with a fire Road master. Fuck Capcom! <laughs> you forget it's Japan, they love recycling. We'll be more distracted the fact that he's a freaking Street Fighter reference, just like Magma Man Man Dragoon X4. Oh yeah, fucking, I think, I think it's... Uh... He will show you the power of Flame Fool! Yeah, fucking Blast Man when he does the, um, uh, gear change thingy. Sounds like, 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 power gear! Sounds like, going like, like, power stone, like, come on! Well, I mean, there's the whole thing that they could use it too. It just, it was just how he said it. it. Sounds like you ripped straight out of like a mob infinite. Mm. You're not gonna bother getting the CDs at all yet. What? What? You're not gonna bother getting the CDs at all yet. What? CDs. Huh? Are you puppy ignoring me? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway. Oh, you, you're a twat, you know that, Brian. Takes one to know one. Yeah, I know. I am not said twat. Yeah, honestly, base hasn't... Yeah, I mean, overall, base has an easier time, but it's really apparent in this stage where you, you know, your dash and double jump gives you a hell of a boost. As of all, when are you going to start collecting these CDs? Later. That's all, that's all I wanted to ask. I don't want you to simple an answer. Oh, you're... Well, don't, I know, but don't pull this politician bullshit, Brian. Try to leave you in suspense. Or I will smack you in the fuck over the internet. <laughs> I'll find a way. Okay. Brian, get a, how the fuck did you not get hit? <laughs> Here's a practice, my friend. I'll get, I'll get a poke one, and then have, then have it be, we get stabbed by a poke one. I will poke name, name, name Brian, and then have that poke stab, be stabbed by a poke with wake up slap. Is there a Ludi Carlo? Yes. Mm. That looks interesting. You bastard! Oh, well. oh. <laughs> so, 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 so was uh, ADD's guy get Oh, out. you have no idea. Mm. Some serious ADD and uh, an OCD is kicking in. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it is an OCD. As in zero. Not like that. Uh. Anyway, add your cool trick you can do here. You can despawn this guy really easily. Hmm, huh. let me get some crackers for that cheese. I, I, I wouldn't mind going for the crackers at the moment, I wouldn't. But I need some. Saltines? Yeah. Or some, something like that. Like the square ones. Good ones. Mmm, with a little bit of jelly. I just put some like, butter on it. That shit's nice. Spikes! It. Ah! <laughs> the burn. Is that he will not slow down for anything. But the funny thing about the ice was you actually land the attack on him. Wait, you can on. push him down and into the spikes. Wait, hold on. See, he wouldn't slow down. Is he basically just fucking um, fuse man from eleven who just threw his first level downer? <laughs> you're telling you're telling me they actually took inspiration from Mega Man Base. The level layout for fuck. The level designer of going like, fire oh, fire. Now, fire, fire yeah, Fire Row Master in, in a jungle yeah. uh, no, Torch Man. The Row Masters are weak to spikes, it's just the fact that none of them pull in their rooms and can actually be affected by them. Uh, for... Where's Spike Wall Man? Where, when the f why, why is Zero. Zero? Why is he. Yes? Why is he what? Why is he what? Did Burner Man get him? Oh no! Anyway, Warp Burner is a very short flamethrower. It goes up and down.
Lucky, are you still there? Lucky, please still be there. We need to keep recording. Oh, God. <laughs> I hope we're still recording. I really hope we are. I, I wonder if his mic died. Oh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> Confirmation, people, we are still recording. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this game is cursed. Alright then, Brian, it's up to the boat, two of us to keep the commentary going. How do you feel I, about Pirate Man? Two. I, I, okay, y'all, the three of us. I mean, do you got anything interesting to say about this game, David? Other than the fact you hate it? Just that it really had no right to be a Super NES game in 1998. I don't know, but remember, Inafune made this for people who didn't have a PlayStation. And then made it hard as fuck! Mm. Yeah, compare it to Mega Man 8, which is a lot more easier than other Mega Man games. This is one of the more harder Mega Man games. I think Mega Man X4 is pretty much the same idea, just... It's... Easy. Yeah. The voice acting, the voice acting's hard on the ears, but... Yeah. Also, the fact is, like, you know, out of a game that that one really didn't require E-Tanks here, why don't we get E-Tanks back? Why not? Why can't we have the checkpoint system from 8? Why can't we have fun? I like to have fun in book video games. That's a lie, though. I actually really like this game. And why hasn't someone made an 8-bit demake of this yet? Surprisingly not. Yeah, anyway, those are the whales that appear in Tango Man stage. Mega Man 8. Yeah, they're underwater, which sort of makes sense, because they're whales. Don't use logic. So, uh, Pirate Man's shade, as you can see, is mostly built around these fucking... Anyway, yeah, Burner Man's weapon now also works underwater as a freaking air current. Yeah? Like push nice little attention to detail. I've never seen anyone... And thankfully, it still hurts enemies, you know? Brian, why are you so fucking good at this game? Because he's played it like a kajillion times. Here's a practice. I played it for like three times. All the hey Brian, sell, sell sell your talents to BSC. They don't want to touch this fucking game. I mean, if they're offering, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> You'd have to offer them. I know. Anyway, um, Power Man here. The main thing you want to avoid about his uh, remote bombs is that they'll lock onto your uh, location. So if you're able to, like, jump over him and stuff, they'll, like, not hit you. Also, the main thing to get him stuck doing this is, is uh, when he does the bubble shield around him and goes around. If you hit him with the wave burner, he'll fall to the ground. Just letting you attack him more. Please tell me all that gold in the background's real. It's <laughs> painted on. You look at the wall and see all this gold, but then you touch it and you realize it's part of the it's part of the decor. It's just plastic. God damn it! Yeah, that's the real treasure. We got ourselves the remote mm. mine. Basically, now we can stick it onto enemies and blow it up like a detonator. Yeah, it's also nice and blue. Yeah, I, I really like the Kush Grimper face. Face, you did it wrong. You're supposed to turn around and look away from the explosion. But and gets a black and pink coloring for this weapon. Because it shows that Mega Man's a pussy? No, it just shows that he, he, he's a Mega Man to wear pink. Yeah. 